With parliamentary election just little more than two weeks away, so far three candidates have filed their nomination papers from Shillong parliamentary seat in Meghalaya. Former Indian Forest Service officer THS Boni on Tuesday filed his nomination papers from Shillong Lok Sabha seat as a candidate of Kun Hainyotrap National Awakening Movement. Boni is the first candidate to have filed his nomination for the Shillong parliamentary seat. Speaking to media persons after filing his nomination, the former bureaucrat spelled out his agendas, terming interstate boundary dispute with Assam, education and rural development as his priorities. Why I contest this election? The basic thing is this. If you check the internet, if you check the Wikipedia, you will find it the, the per capita income of Mekhalaya compared to all other states in the country, Mekhalaya come 28 position out of 32. We want to ask all those who have ruled Mekhalaya for so many years, those who have gone to Delhi and those who are here also, why the GDP of Mekhalaya is 28 in rank. He also said that the battle for Shillong seat is difficult, but it all depends on the votes and their choice. He was hopeful that people have already seen the work of national parties and they might have a chance. Former kickboxing player, independent candidate Samuel Hasha, who had filed his nomination on Wednesday, said his top agenda is to raise and resolve the long-pending interstate boundary dispute with Assam and the controversial citizenship amendment bill. This election ruling MDA's common candidate Jamie Mo Matho is expecting to give a tough competition to Pala as this is the first time when state has non-Congress government. Accompanied by MDA partners, its common candidate Jimmy No Matho filed his nomination in Shillong. But this time I don't see much difficulty because all the parties have come together. And if you look at the vote share in the last MDC elections, in both the Khasi Hills and Jaintia Hills Autonomous District Council, if you compare only the vote share of the Congress and the UDP, our party, the Congress is leading by only a small margin. But if you combine the total votes together of the NPP, the PDF, the HSPDP with the UDP and also including the independents, the vote share is uh, I think 10 times or 20 times more. While Congress candidate and sitting MP Vincent Pala is likely to file his nomination on Friday, for 21 years, Shillong parliamentary seat is represented by Congress candidates winning since 1998. It may be mentioned that in Tura parliamentary constituency, former Union Minister Agatha K. Sangma and State Opposition Leader and former Chief Minister Mukul Sangma are on the fray. The general election for the two Lok Sabha seat in Meghalaya are scheduled to be held in a single phase on April 11. With Prakash, Shillong.